All right, folks. It's Meg. Moonlight the games. We are playing Frog Detective. This is the first game in what I see as a series, and I figured because it's spooky season, why not do some mystery solving? So these guys are extra cute. A <laughs> sloth and a sloth king, excuse me, and a frog. All right. So this is Frog Detective One, the Haunted Island. I know nothing about it, so let's go. <laughs> Look at him go. Kind of reminds me of SpongeBob with like the long legs and the square body. Oh, I did not realize I was in first person. Okay, I did not know I had to use a keyboard. All right, well here I am using a keyboard. Ooh, phone is ringing. Using left click. Oof. I am. Okay. Hello. Who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, oh, well. Selamat datang kembali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? All right, I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. You heard the man. I'm holding on. There's a slight salt. He owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, Monkey, calls me up. I don't think that's just an insult. I think it's a literal monkey. <laughs> they need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop was not available. Oh, bitch. Excuse me. <laughs> my language. So I'm asking you the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cobb's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who's hearing all that spooky ghost noises around these island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted, haunted island. Did you yell, THE HAUNTED ISLAND! Like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Full lock. Thanks. I guess I'm... Oh, look! It's me and my friends. Okay. Oh. My microwave's beep pooping. Ah, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. I love the cursor is his, his little hand. I can't solve mysteries without it. Very cute. Okay. Look through your magnifier with a right click. Ugh. Time to solve a mystery. I don't know how long this game is. I can't imagine it being too long because there's a few different games. Yay, an intro! Thank you, developer. It's really cute so far. A Frog Detective Adventure. Thomas Boker and Dan Golding. Very nice. I'm very honored to play your Frog Detective. And it's perfect timing too because I just saw um, Haunting of Venice, the Hercule Poirot. So I'll just pretend I'm Hercule the Frog. I'm not going to put on a French accent or 
German? Is it a German accent? I don't know. Mo the mouse. Bernie. The bear. I like Bernie already. Fresh eggs. To death? To death, bro. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> the live pictures. Okay, case one. The haunted island. <laughs> cute still. Still very cute. It's tickling my funny bone in all the right ways. <laughs> okay. I wanna... Oh! Well, there's the bear. There's my boat, I guess. Don't know if I want to talk to you yet, monkey. But I will look at you, starfish. Oh, you're smiling! Okay. I'm sorry. I know. I'm like... Alright, I guess I have to talk to you. His clipboard says notes. Hmm, maybe a man in a suit? <laughs> oh, what, what voice should I give him? Something that's easy. Um, let's just do the deep, deep man voice. Ah, oh, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchstone, couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Oh, and there's lightning in the background. Ooh. Yes, I'm Mysterious Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mr. Monkey 49 Please, Mr. Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. <laughs> of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Um, the resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, uh, that would be Martin. You can find him catching in the, f hiding in the forest. Thinks the ghost can't catch him in there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Um, nothing right now. Because I think I have to just go to the forest. Okay. Ooh, I forgot how close I was to you. I don't think you are anybody of importance yet. Wait, you were in the water. No, that's a koala. Never mind. Ooh. That pasta? Yum. But it's not mine. Oh, come on. Why can't I have the pasta? Okay, who, is that a pigeon? Okay, so I'm supposed to be looking in the forest, which I'm not looking in the forest, obviously. But that might be the forest. I'm looking for the sloth. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. I think that's who I'm looking for. These are just must be all the other scientists doing science. Okay. Uh, oh, voices, voices. When in doubt, use a deep man voice for everybody. So we're talking to the king sloth here. Okay. Wah! Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective. Here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine, I guess. Just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. Oh, God. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here... There was no one else on the island, except for me and Finley. So, I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. Excuse me? N no, I, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? <laughs> Go ahead. Got questions for me? Again, who the fuck is Finley? Excuse my language, I'm trying to stop that. Who's Finley? About the noises. Hmm, your nerves, not at the moment. Dance competition, Finley. 
You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete, what with this whole spooky situation going on. <sighs> Got questions for me? Okay. Dance competition. You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. <laughs> Got questions for me? Maybe I'm not. Uh, the noises. What are the noises about? Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book, it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. <laughs> the proof is all there. Got questions for me? <laughs> Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I really, I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them in the cyberweb.com. <laughs> but now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave more like. What? That made more sense in my head. No, I got you, bro. I guess the men, like, will probably die before the mystery is solved. Well, that's very dark. Dark? Just like the conclusion to this tale! But, um... <laughs> Sorry if I'm being dramatic. This feels like a toad voice, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I solved every- oh, that's not the voice. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put on a hat. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna go find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What a visualization exercise. It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. <laughs> no, the ghost is on holiday. It's like talking to a child. She's... Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can you visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. <laughs> Any anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. I need to sip a drink. Oh my god. This is the wrong voice. Great. Me too. <clears throat> Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. But we haven't even solved it yet. Oh, well, we got a chunk of pure gold. Alright. Oh, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got a question for me? Nah. No questions for the time being. No problemo. Alright. 
Ooh. Hello, buggy bug. And we have a bed. Okay. Oh, there's one of the scientists. <laughs> okay. This is super cute and quirky. I think I'm I'm kind of in love. So <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna come back and between episodes I'm gonna try to see how long the game actually is. Because if I can do it in one go, I'll do it in one go. Um but I will see you next time to explore this curiously cute world. It's not really scary, it's just hysterical. Alright, I'm I'm losing myself in the graphics. Alright, see you next time. Bye!